The company that has remained steadfast and kept the right principles. The company headed toward the world with the right principles. The company that grows with its customers and shares generously. We are Atomy. Atomy which has been growing ever since its establishment in 2009. Achieved 2.2 trillion Korean won in global sales in 2022 and surpassed 15 million global members. Atomy's number one goal of going beyond customer satisfaction to customer success continues to be its top priority to this day. Providing good quality products at reasonable prices, Atomy's competitiveness lies in the nature of distribution. The absolute quality and absolute price product philosophy that Atomy has practiced since its inception is included in all of its products such as health functional foods, beauty, living, food, fashion, home appliances, and more. Atomy Hemohim surpassed 2 trillion Korean won in cumulative sales, ranked number one in domestic health functional food exports. It has gotten international patents in 21 countries and is forging a unique new path for health functional food products. Absolute Skin Care, which has become one of the best-selling cosmetics in the industry with sales of 100 billion Korean won every year since its launch. Absolute Skin Care received King's Hejong Award from the Korean Intellectual Property Office in 2021 for the first time in the cosmetics industry and was selected as world-class product for next generation selected by Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy in 2022. The Fame, another luxury cosmetic product reborn with upgraded ingredients and technology is also loved by consumers as it reflects Atomy's product philosophy. Atomy practices customer-centered management in all its business activities and such efforts were recognized by the acquisition of customer-centered management certification for two consecutive years, which is a unique accomplishment in the industry. Starting with the U.S. branch in 2010, Atomy is a global company which opened 25 branches in Asia, South America, Oceania, Europe, etc., with 15 million members worldwide. It opened branches in Brazil, Mongolia, and Uzbekistan in 2022. And starting with Germany in 2023, it is planning to open 20 branches within the next five years. Atomy's GSGS strategy, which stands for Global Sourcing Global Sales, allows the supply of products that align with the absolute quality and absolute price philosophy through Atomy's global sales network. Atomy's success system, in which the company runs all seminars, allows any member to succeed regardless of individual ability. This is the driving force behind Atomy's distinctive growth. The next generation of online and offline distribution broadcasters, which presents Atomy's vision to members around the world regardless of time and space. Entertainment and media, which converges business and culture. Atomy provides the vision of a global success system, which transcends time and space by providing a variety of services. For our partner companies to pay the utmost attention to quality, Atomy provides various support measures for partnering companies such as cash payment within one week from delivery interest-free operating fund loans and 
joint quality management systems, among others. These create a culture of accompanied growth. Sharing is a mission that all companies must fulfill. Atomy's executives, employees, partnering companies, and members all practice sharing together to improve the lives of all members of society. Wherever sharing is needed around the world, global branches will be united to support happiness for all. The company that holds true to its principles while creating a new distribution culture. The company expanding globally with the trust of people around the world. The company that dreams of customer success while moving beyond customer satisfaction. The company that cherishes the spirit. We are Proud Atomy. All right. Hello. Are you able to hear me? Sounds good. Perfect. Perfect. So my name is Luke Kim, and I welcome you to our Global Top English Seminar today. Um, of course, today is uh, February 15th, and of course, it's still winter. And right now here in Toronto, it's snowing again. So winter feeling is back. But hopefully, everyone staying warm and healthy. And enjoying uh, the weather you are in. But of course, of course, of course, we're always focused on Atomy every single day. Um, it's something that we can bring Atomy into part of our lives and be able to grow our business step by step, no matter what situation we may be in. So hopefully all of you are doing well in Atomy and growing. And thank you for joining us today. And today we'll be able to learn more about Atomy as well. Or if not, refresh on, on the information that Atomy has provided from the leaders and then the presenter that we'll have today. So before we begin, I'm just going to introduce you to our translator, no translator today. Uh, Kua. Kua will be doing translation. So just a quick introduction from her. And if you are doing the trans, uh, if you are in need of translation, there's a translation button below that you can access. All right, thank you very much, Akua, for doing the translation. Thank you all of you for joining us today. And of course, to start off our meeting, we will go ahead with our company model. If you're able to join us, that'd be great. And if you can, if you know the actions, do the actions where you are as well, and then let us begin. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Cherish the spirit. Create the vision. Follow the faith. Serve in humility. Aja. 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 All right. Thank you very much for joining us. And of course, let us start off our meeting with our first speaker who will introduce to us the product. We have Sales Master David Kim from Canada. Hello, everyone. My name is David Kim. I'm a Sales Master from Toronto New Age Center. And today I'll just be talking about uh, two quick products. Uh, very simple, very quick. Um, so the first one is our Hemwim. So our Hemwim is a price of 130 before tax and a PV of 30,000. So what Hemwim is, is basically it helps boost our immune system. And the reason why today I want to share this with you is because um, it is going to be allergy season soon. And I know a lot of people have allergy season. So you'll start... Uh, like sneezing a lot or sniffing a lot, hard to breathe sometimes. And um, I actually use Hemoim to use this for my allergies, just to get my immune system up so that uh, those things don't really occur to me that often during the year. So basically, Atom uses the, these three plants uh, to help boost our immune functions. 
And what our body has is something called the NK cells. And what hemoglobin does is uses the NK cells to help fight our body even more and to protect us from these germs or anything to get us sick. So if you get a cold or anything, um, I use hemoglobin and then I just drink it and I just uh, stay warm as much as possible as uh, the NK cells fight with the hemoglobin to provide our body uh, a better immune system, right? So this will help us with basically strength, uh, physical strength, uh, less uh, fatigue, um, very easy for your life as work. Um, if you're really tired during the day after work and you want to feel more energized, I highly recommend you guys to use Hemoim as well. Um, as you improve your immune system, this will also improve your energy and your uh, daily life as well. And the way that I eat this, I usually just eat it from the satchel. But um, some people, you could also use it in tea. So just pour hot water and put the satchel in as well. And then um, you can just drink it anytime you want, morning, night. Uh, some people drink it for nighttime so that um, you could sleep better because it's like it warms up your body as well. And the next one I'll be talking about is actually the Atami Hong Sandan. So this is $80 uh, before tax and a PB of 44000 or 4400 So this is also very great for your immune system. This is basically red ginseng, but Atami has made it as Hong Sandan. So uh, for Atami, it is very simple uh, as they made it into a very premium package for us. As you can see here, this very shiny premium looking uh, package. Uh, very easy for us to use as we could carry it in our bags, our pockets, easy to consume as well. Uh, they keep it into these little beads so to prevent it from oxidation. So it is very easy to keep in your pocket, like I said. So if you want to make it into tea, like the hemoy, you could just, uh, they're like little beads where you could just put it in. It is very bitter, so some people can't eat it uh, right off from the, the beads. Um, I usually just uh, put it in my mouth. It is very bitter. So um, for people who's okay with taking bitter things, you could do it like that. If not, you could just stir it in hot water and then just drink it very easily as well. So this is how it properly looks uh, closely. So this basically also reduces uh, fatigueness, but also promotes blood circulation. Also uh, relieves us of tension or from stress and basically improves your memory as well for this Hong Sam Dan. So I highly recommend you guys to use these two products, the Hem Moim and the Hong Sam Dan. If you have any questions, then you can always ask your sponsors as well, or you can always um, search it up on YouTube or the Atomy website as well, if you're too shy to ask your sponsors. But yes, uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you very much for sharing that information. Of course, our Hem Moim is our main item in atomy i guess it's like the most popular item in atomy that everyone is familiar with when they are part of the atomy system they are exposed to it people enjoy it and this is something that many people have benefit from both health wise for different purposes uh for their body and of course uh like david said it is allergy season i realize it's usually sometimes not really the cool temperature or the temperature that we experience that causes our sickness. It's usually the change in temperature just because our body doesn't adjust very well or the environment when we go to somewhere new, when we're traveling, that usually kind of plays in a lot of, a lot of role in the, our, our body becoming sick. So with Hemoem, with the Hong San Dam, we are able to maintain our immune system, stay healthy and enjoy the activities that we can enjoy. And of course, uh, be more feel better of course that is the number one point in all the stuff that we're taking because it always benefits us that's why we are using all the product and it's not just hemuen hong sang dam it's all the other products that we have and uh there are a lot of products that we can enjoy throughout our seasons throughout the year and hopefully you'll uh try all of them and see how it benefits you so thank you very much for the product presentation. Now we enter into our main speaker for today. Um, the step uh, that he will talk about is the sales master position. And of course, sales master is the first hurdle into the steps 
for our business success. That is where we take the role into accomplishing a task as a goal, as a, a, a objective. And it's not just casual, it's a focused activity that you're doing with the mindset of this is the goal I'm going to aim for. And of course, the activities that you do and the habit that goes into that. And of course, we'll learn more about this in doing so we're able to really succeed in the afternoon position. And of course, we have Diamond Master, Dave, Daniel Kim presenting us that exact fact. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Diamond Master Daniel. I'd like to welcome you all for our Global Top Seminar once again, and just uh, you know, give a, yourself a round of applause, right? Just coming here, I think that's a big step in the right direction, right? especially in this atomy business. Um, many people lose the idea, the sense that this is their own business. Then in order for you to understand why it's your own business, you have to have to have the willpower to take the first steps, right? And that's even the small things, like just attending these seminars, learning, doing your due diligence, all those things add up to building out your, your own business. Right? And so uh, if this is your own, like your first time owning your own business, then I want to say that you've chosen the best business for you since it is a lot easier to start Atomy's business compared to your regular business out there, right? And so if you've ever started your own business before, then you know that it's not easy to own a business. It costs a lot of money to start. It costs a lot of capital and a lot of time and effort especially if you're trying to you know, do something related to selling a product, you got to outsource, find different products that are worth selling to that customers would like. And so for us, Atomy takes care of a lot of that back end work, right? They are the ones that create a website. If you want to create your own website, you'd have to pay a lot of money just to create your own website. They also have sourced all the great products that we use today and so that creates a lot of savings and time for us. So we don't have to go out there visiting different warehouses, different distributors looking for atomies or equivalent level of these kind of products to sell to our consumers, right? So right there, you're already benefiting so much just from those two things, but Atomy has so much more it offers to us than we sometimes realize and take for granted. And so today I'm talking a little bit more about doing the first step in Atomy, right? which is the road to sales master. And so many of us probably know what sales master is or have heard of it uh, if you are here, but Atomy's beginning journey all starts with building out your uh, mastership, right? So your sales master journey is uh, equivalently very important because uh, it's pretty much like a goal that you meet in your business, right? So let's say you're starting your own business and then if you don't have any sort of goals that you need, you're going to meet, you're not going to make any profit, then what's going to happen, right? The next month, you're not going to be able to pay your rent on time or you're not going to be able to purchase any sort of products that you need to so source for your store. Right. Adam is the same thing. If we don't set any goals for ourselves to aim for those things, then uh, we're not going to be able to uh, reach those things and grow our Atomy's business. And so Atomy uh, has divided into seven different mastership levels. Right. So we start off with sales master, then work our way all the way up. And then our final mastership, which is imperial master. Right. And so in those seven different levels, those are kind of your milestone goals that you want to achieve. But the first uh, goal that you want to be in Atomy is to become a sales master, but not just an, any sales master, but an auto sales master. Right. And so the importance of becoming an auto sales master is because it is the way for you to fund your business activity. Right. And so let's say you own a restaurant and that restaurant, you don't make any sort of sales, then how are you going to operate the next month, right? The same thing with Atomy. If you don't generate any sales, how are you going to do your Atomy business the next month, right? And so whatever you generate from sales in Atomy, right, your points and so forth, uh, those all generate commission. And then you're going to in turn use those commission and to fuel your Atomy's growth. Right. Yes, you take some of that for your expenses and pay off your bills and so forth, but you want to also take some of that and use it to fuel your Atomy's business. Right. 
on, other than that, if you don't do that and just keep it all to yourself and then use it to pay off your bills, then it would be like a one-time thing. But what about next month? What about the month after that, right? You don't see a restaurant owner keeping all the profits he made without giving it to his own business and investing it into his own business, right? Everything he makes, he keeps some of that for his profit, but some of that he invested to his business, whether that is to hire new chefs, new employees, right? Whether that is to spend more money to invent new products to sell in his menu, right? The same thing applies for Adam. We're, we are a business, right? We're not just a uh, business that you just do on the side or you know, without focus, but if you truly outline and have a goal, then you can master this business and make it your own. And so the reason why we want to be an auto sales master is because once we're at that level, then we're now at the first starting point of this business, right? Uh, if you just reach a sales master once, then it's not enough, right? You have to do auto, uh, become an auto sales master. So then what's truly the secret to becoming auto sales master is just truly having 25 on each leg, on your left leg and on right leg, royal customers, right? Not business partners. Business partners are, there's a limit to what they're going to do, but royal customers, right? Royal customers are the base of your business, all right? And what do I mean? Not just customers that purchase one or two products, but customers that are doing a mart change, right? They're going from using daily essential products that they use from Walmart or from shoppers, from no throws and those grocery stores, and they're changing it to using Atomy's products, right? If they're using, uh, you know, Tide detergent, Instead of using Tide detergent, now they're using Atomy's detergent. And then if they're using, you know, Colgate toothpaste or, you know, any sort of other off-brand toothbrushes, now they're using Atomy toothbrush, they're using Atomy toothpaste, and that's how they're changing their daily essentials into Atomy's products. And then from there, you're now generating profit through those automatic consumption, right? And that's why auto sales master is coming from that automatic consumption. Without those auto consumers, you won't be a auto sales master, right? And so you need to have that residual consumption uh, through your auto consumers. And that means that just 25 people on each side, right? Consuming just enough to generate even 100,000 PV worth of points, which is not hard to do because if you just purchase one box of Hemling, you're already over that 100,000 limit. Right. And so imagine you have 25 people on your left and right doing this simultaneously every month, then you're already reached auto sales master. Right. And so if you set your goal like that, it doesn't really become an impossible goal to reach. Now it becomes easier because now you have numbers that you're dealing with. But if you don't set any goals and then you just kind of work your way to becoming a sales master, then you will know, never know where to stop or where to grow and what, what kind of goals that you need to hit to build out your business. Right. And so today's topic for becoming the role to sales master is kind of covering the first steps you need in order for you to become a sales master for your first time. Right. And then once you do that and you've mastered that skill, then what do you do? You just repeat that process and then you now pass that knowledge on to your partners. Right. Not your consumers. Your consumers are just there to consume the products, but your business partners, the ones that are actually interested in doing the business, you pass that knowledge on to them. And they're the ones that do this sales master uh, journey with you along with yourself. Right. And that's how you're going to grow your mastership. And so today uh, we have a kind of a timeline for becoming a sales master, right? So in the beginning, we have to learn what is a sales master, right? If you don't know what a sales master is, then this is where you're going to learn how to become a sales master. And then after that, you need to understand the roles of a sales master. Uh, what are in particular the needs that we need to do? And then the, before the challenges, what we need to prepare uh, during the challenge, what you should do. And then lastly, after the challenge, uh, the things that we should cover in terms of our business. And so then now we're doing this first topic, which is the, what is a sales master, right? So as I mentioned, there's seven different levels of mastership, but you can start with your first level, which is the sales master, right? Sales master is the beginning. And then so here we need uh, two, there's two sides to our personal PV. So we have our personal PV, which is something that we generate through our own general consumption uh, under our own uh, ID. 
And then we have our group PV. Group PV is something that's generated through your groups. So your groups on the left, they're gonna generate their left group PV. And then the groups on the right are gonna generate their right group PV, right? So we have two separate groups that are generating group PV simultaneously. And as long as they meet a certain threshold, then you're going to meet and recite, receive commission through that process. And so the goal for sales master is to have a personal PV of 700,000. And so 700,000 is your basis for becoming a sales master. And then you need a group PV on the left and right side of 2.5 million PV each, right? And so when you look at it this way, it's like, oh, there's a lot to do by myself, 2.5 million PV. Or oh, how am I going to do this by myself, Daniel? This is so much. I'd have to buy so many products. But like I said before, this is a game of building out your consumers, right? So if we have 25 consumers on the left side doing purchasing products through Atomy, then now you already have that 2.5 million PV, right? And then you have 25 customers on the right side, right? But in the beginning, you're not going to have 25 customers right away, right? While you're doing this Atomy challenge and you continue to challenge yourself every month to build out your auto mastership, the key is to become better every, every time, right? So in the beginning, obviously, it's going to be very difficult because, you know, you're not sure what to do. And then, so it's your first time challenging. So maybe you're only going to add two people on each leg. Right. So you're going to have two people on the left, two people on the right. Let's say those two people are your friends on the left side. And then two people on the right is your family members. Right. And so then that already is going to alleviate some of the pressure that you're going to have in order to reach your mastership challenge, let's say. Let's say you uh, go to your friends and then you ask each of them, oh, can you just purchase some products for me? And then one of the friends purchased like, uh, you know, 300,000 PV worth. And then the other person also purchases like a 300,000 PVs worth of points. And then same on your right side as well, right? Then right there, you already generated 600,000 PV on both legs. So then it lessens the amount of PV now you have to make, right? Now you only have to make 2.1 million PV instead of making the full 2.5 by yourself, right? And so this is the kind of the synergy strategy that Atomy works with in terms of building out your team. So the more consumers you have on each side, the more this will become uh, easier to do every time you do the challenge. And every time you do the challenge, it, the key is to increase more consumers that you have, right? The more business partners will naturally come with the, the consumers because consumers, the ones that are generally interested will be from those who used Atomy's products before. So if you haven't used Atomy's products so, so far, then I encourage you to give them a try because then it'll help you understand why you should change, what you should change, and understand why truly, truly Atomy is great in terms of products, right? And so you use the products, you share it to others, and then from there, you now generate your consumers, right? Now you have some customers on the left and the right, and then you continue to do this cycle every time from the 1st to the 15th and the 16th to the end of the month until you reach Auto Sales Master. And then from there, your strategy slightly elevates, right? You don't stop, but you, you're now taking a different approach once you get to that level. But that is something that you discuss with later on with your leaders. But for now, we're just talking about the Sales Master. So for us, we're going to continue to work hard every, every day, right? You're going to go out there meeting customers, meeting partners, and then you now deliver this products, you share the products about the vision, and then from there, you're now going to increase your group. And so then what is a role of a sales master, right? So the role of a sales master is that we need to become self-made leaders. This is so important because if you're not able to become your own leader, uh, it, so the idea is to become your own business owner, right? Then you're just an employee to this business, right? You're not really a, a person who's going to be able to succeed if that's your mindset in Atomy because everyone has to be their own business owner in Atomy if you want to succeed, right? So you don't see a restaurant owner suddenly just sitting there waiting for customers to come and not doing anything, right? They're not going to take the time to research any new products that they might have the draw attention to their business or they're not going to research any way to build out their business. Then what are you doing, right? The same applies for Atomy, right? If you're truly wanting to be a leader 
then you need to build out yourself as a business owner, right? What does that mean? You need to do the eight cores every day because that is pretty much a breakdown of how you're going to be a proper leader in Atomy. And so if you're, once you're a self-made leader in Atomy, right, then you're a, a going to build out becoming a uh, natural sales master. And you just have to copy that towards your partners and have them also duplicate that result. And so once you look for those and find new members, you'll naturally encounter members that are going to want to start their own Atomy business, right? So this is going to be done through the process of finding customers. So not you're not going to look for business partners right away, right? Because a because business partner, the only thing that they're going to be focused on is trying to make money in Atomy, but they're not going to have any interest in the products themselves. Then how are you going to build out your business? You have to use Atomy's products to understand why everyone loves the products, right? And so that's how you're going to create that natural marketing effect through the use of products, right? If you use the products personally, then you're going to easily be able to share to others why they should try Atomy. Right? Oh, I love the Atomy's Hemoin because it cured my, uh, you know, issues with uh, allergies, right? And then that's how you're going to share to those friends that you know have seasonal allergies, right? If, if you never used Hemoin before, then you would never know that it can do that or the possibility, right? And so using the products in itself is the first step in any sort of business. Uh, and that's why that's so important. So, and then through that, uh, usage of products, now you're inviting customers and those customers are naturally going to now generate interest in the products. And then some of them, not everyone, are going to have an idea that, oh, maybe if I sell this product to my friends, my family, maybe if I share with them, they're going to be interested as well in you know, pur purchasing and consuming anatomy. And those are going to be now your new business partners, right? So however, if you're ever, ever having trouble uh, explaining the products or explaining the vision of Atomy, that's where your sponsors come in, right? Your sponsors are also your business partners. They're not your employees. And same with your partners. They're not your employees, right? We're all business partners together, but they're just one step ahead of you. And so they can offer you mentorship. They can offer you guidance, right? That's what your sponsors are there for. So if your sponsors are there and they're able to offer you guidance and that's what you use them for. If that sponsor is not able to, then you talk to the sponsor above, right? And then so forth, right? And that's why, you know, not every sponsor might be your perfect fit, but you'll definitely find someone who might be able to be someone that you can work together with. And so once you reach Sales Master, you're going to have to make note of all the things that you did, the processes you did, the, the techniques that you've used to get there, because you're going to now duplicate that and use it on yourself every time you do the Sales Master Challenge, along with your partners, right? Because your partners are eventually going to come out from your customers, and you want to teach them how to do the challenge as well, right? So whatever te techniques that you did, now you want to share it with your partners because the sponsors are not the ones to create your sales masters for you, right? It is not your sponsor's responsibility to build out your business for you, nor is it, you know, the government's responsibility to build out your restaurant business, right? If you started your own business, whether you fail or not is up to your hard work, right? Whether your business goes bankrupt or not is up to your hard work. So if you don't work hard, there's going to be no fruit in your results. And so you can only blame yourself for your lack of hard work if you fail in Atomy, right? And that's just, just the cold, hard truth in any business, right? And so don't expect your sponsors to help out in every aspect of your business, but rather just use them as your kind of guiding point, right? Maybe ask your partners or your sponsors, like, what can I do to improve myself in order to become an auto sales master? What can I do to improve myself in order to become a diamond master? And that's how you're going to progress your business. And so this is truly an important aspect that we as uh, partners forget because we think that this is uh, in, a, in a chain structure and we need to have and our sponsors owe us something by having us there. But no, they don't owe you anything. Right. In fact, you know, they don't really have to help you at all. But in Atomy, we are a team business. Right. We want to help. Right. And so then if they're helping you, never take them for granted, but rather always be thankful and always do even more, 
right? And that's how you're going to succeed, right? Not by becoming doing less because your sponsor is already working hard, but rather doing more than your sponsor, then you're going to progress even faster, right? Because now you're you're in a car, right? And your sponsor is now your kind of rocket booster, then you're going to go even faster than what you were going before. And that's the power that you want to harness as a, as a working as a team. And so when should you challenge for sales master, right? So there's no perfect time. Uh, it's really case by case because, you know, everyone's financial situation is different. Everyone's, uh, you know, job is different. If someone who, who might be working, you know, full time might be working from, you know, 5 to 11 p.m., right? So they might not have a lot of time uh, during the evening times and they can only work in the mornings and so forth. Uh, but it's really Adamy's a go at your own pace kind of business. Uh, up to a certain point, right? You can't let it be that way forever. You want to quickly progress so that Atomy can be your full-time job. If you just let Atomy become your part-time job forever, you'll never become rich in Atomy, right? It's just how it is. So the example you is a great like base point is three months, right? Three months of studying really hard in Atomy, learning about the business, learning about the products, learning about why you should build out your business. And then you follow that and build out your business by attending the seminars, attending the success academies, plugging yourself into the system, because otherwise you won't be able to understand anything about the business, right? Because if you don't do any of your own studying and then you know learning about it, then you won't understand anything about anatomy. But even if you learn about it, if you don't apply the business knowledge into your business, you won't succeed. If all you do is only go to the success academies, uh, you know, the seminar, and then you think that you've done your business, you've done your due diligence, then you won't succeed in anatomy, right? Whatever you learn, you have to apply, right? The same thing for any, any owner, right? If I own my own convenience store, whatever techniques I've learned, whatever kind of business know-hows I've learned, if I don't apply it into my business, then my business will not flourish, right? And same applies for Atomy. Please, 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 if you've applied to, you know, attending the seminar, the, the success academies, now that you've learned, you want to slowly apply into your daily lifestyle, into your business practices. And so why must you go to Sales Master, right? Sales Master, uh, as I said before, is like a milestone, right? So we want to build out our milestone and reach those goals. But if we don't set, any goals for ourselves, then it's going to be very you know, difficult for us to plan out what steps needs to be taken to build our business, right? Like we want to go from point A to point B, right? And then we, we don't know how to get there because we don't have a map, right? Then what should you do? Now you first need to draw out the map. We need to now draw out a path that we need to take. Okay, I need to go you know, north. And then after that, I got to go northeast. And then after that, I have to you know, make a left and right to get to this path. But if we don't know anything and we just kind of aimlessly drive along this road, eventually, because we can't see the front, we might just fall off, right? Just drive off the cliff, right? And the same thing is a bit, happens for Adam, right? I've seen time and time again, where many members, they don't listen and they don't build out this path and they think, okay, I don't need that. I can just do it at my own pace and I just go and eventually they're going to make so many mistakes that they could have avoided if they just planned out their route right and so because of this you know during the challenge you're trying to make as many people as possible joining underneath you so creating your membership list is very important right creating your membership list is important because that is your consumer base so then you need to start making that you know how do you make that if you don't know now this is where your partners, your consumers, and this is your sponsors kick in, right? So you go to your sponsors and then you ask them, okay, I don't know how to make that membership list. How do I make it? Then your sponsor is going to be like, okay, who do you have? Who do you know, right? Who in your line that you want to make your potential customers? Then you write that down. Okay, on my left side, I know I have a lot of family members, so I want to put them there. You know, you put in your family members, your sisters, your brothers, your, your cousin, your uncle. And on my right side, you're like, okay, I have some coworkers that I know. I have some friends that I know that I can add there. And that's how you can kind of uh, build out your members list. And then from there, now you already have people that now you can contact, right? That is your list of contacts for your, you know, a, you could say that is a cold contact, 
but in in essence it's still like a warm contact because you know those people right it's not completely strangers that you're contacting in the first place right and then after that you want to increase your focus and immersion in this business it's all about focus and building out the business as fast as possible because if you slow down then you're going to start to get exhausted right if you slow down building out your business then you're going to be like, okay, when am I going to build out this business? When am I going to become an auto sales master? And then that goal is going to seem further and further away. And eventually you might feel that, okay, maybe this business is, does, not, does not work, right? But in reality, it's just that you're not working fast and hard enough to get there. Right? And then through that process of finding all these consumers and building out your list, eventually that's where you're going to find your core partners from. That's where you're going to find your core partners from. And so that's who you want to focus and building out your business together. And so how do you prepare for the challenge, right? How do you prepare for the challenge? Before you do the challenge, you should attend the meetings, obviously, right? And then from there, you're going to do the seminars. You're going to prepare yourself as you give you an idea on how to proceed along with some courage, right? So to help you through the challenge, uh, these are kind of some tips and tricks that uh, many leaders now use, many partners use. And so for, for those of you who are challenging for the first time and might feel a bit overwhelmed with the 15-day time limit, a few good tips would be to make a reservation. List. So as I mentioned before, the Sales Master Challenge or any Mastership Challenge, you only have two weeks to do that for the first to the 15th and then 16th to the end of the month, right? And so having this reservation list is kind of like your secret weapon because now you have it kind of narrowed down to all the people that you can now contact. So make a list of product reservations from your members list. And so before you start your challenge, it's a good idea for you to separate and type up these products so that you can contact them and then start to you know uh, sell beforehand for your challenge. And then have your members change their main household products, right? Change of habits. This is so important because we humans are naturally uh, habitual creatures. We love to use the same stuff. We all love to do the same things out of habit, but we want to now break that habit. Breaking that habit becomes a lot harder than we realize. And so changing this habit will take some time but through Atomy's products, that's how you're, they're gonna change it. So before I only use the toothbrush, now I'm gonna use the toothpaste. Before I only use those two products, now I'm gonna change it to using the dish detergent. And then before that, I'm gonna use now the hemoheme, right? And so you slowly change their daily household essentials, right? Another thing you can do is also pre-process in advance uh, in terms of the payments, right? And so you can receive the payments in advance and then now you're just going to process that uh, sales in that specific day to uh, capitalize on your commission, especially in the beginning, right? And so because a lot of this uh, happens when, uh, you know, you don't pre-process, then sometimes people might get cold feet and then be like, oh, you know, uh, I had a change of mind because I need to use this somewhere else. I need to take this somewhere else. So then, you know, you might potentially have a gap in the days that you already planned then you want to make sure to uh, have it pre-processed to some degree so that you're not having any sort of surprises along your way. And then also to consult with your sponsors on your members that you can put points into. So when you're doing the challenge, you don't put points into yourself, right? Points, putting part, uh, points into yourself is only part of it, but you need to put a majority of your points into your left and right legs, right? Underneath the very bottom person, right? But during that challenge, you're not only going to receive commission by yourself, but you can also have create an opportunity for your members, right? Your potential partners to be able to receive some commission as well, right? And why do you do this? Now you're creating interest for that potential partner to do this business, right? If they've never received commission before and you think that maybe they might be a potential partner, then you can introduce this by using this strategy. And so how do you do this? You consult with your sponsors. Oh, sponsor, who do you think would be interested? Who do you think that I should target? And then that's how you kind of build out your business. And so before you start the challenge, uh, the members that you have consulted with your sponsors about, then that would have a great interest in the business. Uh, those are the kind of key points that you want to uh, pick out and challenge. And even though you might introduce them and then they might, uh, you know, receive some commission doesn't mean that they will also do the business, but it just means that you're planting your seed, right? You plant that seed so that they can potentially later on gain interest in doing editing. 
And so the key reason why we want to create that reservation list beforehand is because in Atomy, there are specific days that you want to target to maximize your commission, right? If you're already an auto uh, sales master, then this does not really apply to you because every day you're already having points coming up. But if you're not an uh, auto sales master, then every day counts. Every uh, green highlighted days, those are kind of the important days that you want to target so that you don't kind of cap out and max out your points that day and miss out on commission but rather you make sure that you're uh, you know, receiving the right amount of commission. So originally, if you receive any sort of order, you can just put it in whatever day, whatever time. But when you're doing the challenge, these specific days are, are really important because if you uh, miss out on one day, then you might potentially lose out on a little bit of profit during that challenge period. And so having that reservation list preset before that day, before your challenges, especially in the beginning as a beginner, uh, can help alleviate some of that stress when you're building out and doing the challenge. And so the sales master, as you know, uh, I mentioned before, you need a personal PV amount and a group PV amount, right? And so the personal PV amount, you need 700,000 and you need a group PV of 2.5 on each leg. Uh, however, if you're doing this challenge for the first time, there's a little bit of a secret technique, right? A tip and tricks. And so here you can see in the middle, we have uh, 300,000, right? I only have 300,000 in my own personal PB, right? When I first started this challenge. And however, while doing the challenge, I was able to have one leg completed. One leg already has 2.5 million PB, right? But the other leg, I'm missing uh, a PB amount. I only have 2.1 million PB. So then now what I can do is that now instead of having to put in 400,000 on both my personal PV and that missing amount on the right leg, I can just put it into my personal PV. Uh, and this only applies when you do this for the first time. What happens is now it balances out both legs simultaneously, right? So instead of spending a total of 800,000 additional PV, I saved 400,000 PV by putting it into my personal PV which balances out my personal PV to equal 700,000, but it also balances out my right leg, which is missing 400,000 to reach 2.5 million, right? So now I've achieved sales master, right? And so then what about if you have the same situation, but instead you're missing both legs, both legs are short a little bit, 200,000 on each leg. Can I just put in 400,000 on my own body, my personal PV to balance out both legs? No, right? So the clear answer is no, because in order for this technique to work, you need to have one leg already uh, reach the 2.5 million cap, right? Only then can this technique work. If you don't have one leg completed, then regardless of what you put into your personal uh, you know, PV, it won't balance out. Right. So this is an important kind of tip that you can use if you're a beginner and this is your first time challenging. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you're not challenging uh, for the first time, then you just do the same thing uh, that you normally do, which is to build out your left and right leg uh, and then reach that 2.5 milestone for each leg. And so after the Sales Master Challenge, um, this is really important because many people kind of neglect this these steps they think that okay now i've done the challenge that i i can now i can just rest right but then that's not going to generate you any sort of auto commission right if you are a restaurant owner and then you sell a lot for that month and then the next month you're like okay now i don't have to work hard i can just rest then where are you going to generate any sort of sales in the next one if you just rest no right if you close your shop you're not going to generate any sort of sales and it's the same thing applies for adam Right. Until you reach a level you're automatically generating sales of consumption, then we need to continue to do this uh, business over and over and over again uh, until we're at that level. Right. So then what does that mean? That you need to have a follow up meeting with your sponsors and your members. Right. So the members that you originally put some commission into that they received some commission, you want to link them together with your sponsors and then have them, your sponsors, uh, introduce them to uh, them about Atomy, right? So then, oh, you feel that they might be interested, so you put in some commission. Now you say, okay, hey, uh, you know, I remember I introduced Atomy to you. Well, what do you say about having a meeting with my sponsor, right? 
And then they might say yes, they might say no. If they'd say yes, then you introduce them. Your sponsor will now introduce them about Atomy. And then they might then say, oh, this is something I might be interested in doing. Or they might say that, oh, maybe this is not for me, but I'd love to still stay a consumer. Either way, that's okay, right? Ultimately, you've gained a new consumer and that's what's important. And so lastly, you want to follow up with these new members and have them, um, you know, whatever new products that they brought or whatever existing products that they brought, you want to follow up with them. You want to see how satisfied they are or if they have any sort of issues with the product because, uh, you know, they might not know how to use the products. They might have used the products incorrectly. Then you want to be able to assist them and teach them so that they can use the products correctly. So having them become repeat customers in Atomy is so important, right? In order for us to do that, because we don't do any sort of marketing or advertising, you have to be the brand. You have to be the ambassador of Atomy by sharing it and being like, okay, how did you like our Atomy Hemoing? Right? Did you have any sort of issues about using it? Oh, this did this caught this issue? Then maybe I can look into it and give you an answer. Oh, then it's like if you already know the answer, then you can share that with them. It's like, oh, okay, you know, this happens due to so and so. And so that's why I recommend that you try it with this product. Or you know you continue to try this product and you know it could better enhance your uh, lifestyle or health and so forth, right? And so these are all coming through what experience, right? If you don't use Atomy's products personally, you won't know and have any of these experience, and that's why using the product first is so important. And so then that way, now your next goal when you do the Atomy challenge for the first time, let's say, then your next goal is to build out intermediate or semi-sales sales masters, right? So semi-sales masters is pretty much the halfway point to becoming a sales master. And so before we didn't have this level, but Atomy has graciously created this promotion for us uh, at, at this level. And so then pretty much what it is, is that now you're able to reach that semi-sales level uh, by just reaching 1.5 million PV on both legs right, on the left leg and the right leg, right? And then during that time, um, then you're able to receive that additional kind of bonus from becoming the, the semi-sales. So uh, if you don't know, in terms of becoming a um, sales master, if you're able to successfully do this in uh, the two weeks, then including the commission, you get $500 uh, worth, give or take, plus minus, uh, in terms of general commission, an additional 500 from the mastership bonus, right? So in total, you're receiving $1,000 for working hard in those two weeks. You repeat that process for the whole month, you make $2,000, right? But for semi-sales, you only generate about $300 worth of commission uh, by reaching that level. But if you reach 1.5 million PV on each leg, you've successfully achieved that semi-sales level. Then you uh, get an additional mastership bonus of $200, right? So then you get, by working hard in those two weeks, $500 instead of $300 before. And then doing that in a whole month, now you make a thousand additional dollars, right? And so your goal in order to become an auto sales master is to have semi-sales masters on each leg. Right, because if you create semi sales masters on each leg, then naturally you can build out to become a auto sales master. In order for you to do that, then you need to have a lot of consumers below you, and then from there through the consumers, you're going to find potential business partners who are going to be interested in doing the business. Then those people you want to help them become a semi sales master by helping them reach that 1.5 million level. Right, they're gonna have to work on their legs as well. Right, but at the same time because you're doing one leg already together with them, because that is already your main leg, naturally they're gonna generate some PV and they're going to also benefit from that. So it makes it a bit easier for them to be reach that 1.5 million PV threshold. And then from there, if they're able to do that 1.5 million PV, then what does that mean? That they're able to generate, you're able to generate uh, give or take 3 million PV or more on each leg because you have a two semi sales master, then you've easily reached auto sales master, right? And so this is the kind of the platform that you want to build up to. And that's your starting point from there, because now you're a sales master, does that mean that you're done your job and you're, you're done your business? No, right? You want to now build out and franchise, right? Technically, that's kind of what it is. You franchise and then now you make your semi-sales into full-fledged 
auto sales master, right? And so if you create two auto sales masters on your left and right, then what does that make you? Now you're an auto diamond master, right? It's an auto diamond master. You're going to be making around 4,000 every month, right? A little bit more depending on whether you've had a good month or not, right? And then you continue to build out until you become a leaders club member. From there, you're going to be generating around 10,000 per month. And then you become a you know star master and so forth. And then continue to do that until you reach $50,000 per month in terms of general commission and then a mastership of uh, around another 50,000, right? So you're going to be generating around 100,000 per month in total income uh, if you become an imperial master, right? But that level, it all starts from here. Right. If you don't build out the right business habits and build out your business properly from becoming a sales master, then obviously you're not going to be able to build your business to becoming an imperial master. Right. So everything starts small and then those things add up. And through that process, you're going to now become a business owner. And right? so I hope that this steps that you take into becoming an auto sales master, that you don't neglect them because they're pretty much the basics, the backbone to becoming successful in that, right? So if you neglect them and then think that, okay, I don't need to do anything, I can just take my time, then you will never become proper business owner in Atomy. And through that process, you're gonna only feel that Atomy is too hard for you. You're gonna be the kind of person that just complains all the time to your sponsors. And they're like, oh, sponsors, why aren't you doing anything? This is so hard, this is such a difficult business when you're not actually working hard. Right. The sponsor has no reason to support you, like I said. Right. The only reason why your sponsors are there is that they're the ones to guide you so that you're on the right path. But other than that, they don't have a responsibility to help your business become a million dollar business. It's up to you to build out your million dollar business. Right. And so ultimately, it's up to us. And if we don't utilize this amazing opportunity to take advantage and change our potential you know, income, uh, you know, generation and in our, our future, then no one's going to help you, right? Atomy's already gave it, gave it to us on a silver platter, but all we do is just, you know, expect everyone to feed us in our business. Then, you know, no one's going to be able to help you in that because everyone is doing their own business. Everyone is working hard to do their own business, right? And so I hope that this was kind of a deeper insight on how to do your Atomy business help you learn a bit more. If you have any sort of um, questions that you might be interested in asking, then feel free to do so. Uh, and yeah, that is all for my presentation for today. Thank you very much, uh, Diamond Master Daniel Kim. Of course, a very informative lecture on how to become a sales master and how to do it properly. And of course, just because we try it, it doesn't mean we're going to be 100% successful each time we do it. It's the progression, like uh, our Diamond Master said, it's the growth in creating this, the step by step to create an auto sales master position. Obviously, from sales master, it's not over. There's multiple steps as well, and so much more that we have to do to grow our teams and, and to grow our business as well. But Sales master is where we learn everything that we fundamentally utilize, because in all of Atomy's step-by-step uh, -step, uh, level mastership, it all stems from sales master. It's creating certainly sales, uh, sales masters underneath us, and for us to achieve it, we learn through it, and in doing so, we're able to guide other people to encourage them to do the same thing, give them the direction, give them the tips that you've learned so that they may do it faster, easier, quicker for them to become successful. And that's where the momentum can really grow. So thank you very much for the lecture. Hopefully you're able to learn from this. Of course, even though I listen to it again and again, there's always more information or things that you need to review again and again to really understand it because there is some work, some details that we still can't memorize 100% from listening. So we have to take in our times to review it again and again. And of course, uh, this I believe this is being recorded. So you're able to go back, listen again and again to understand more details and to, of course, put into action. I think listening, learning, and then putting into action is a very important steps in what we need to accomplish in this uh, business. 
So thank you very much for joining us today. Is That is the end for today. We're going to go ahead with that company model to end our meeting. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Please stay after the company model to take a photo uh, as a group. And then that'll be all for today. Thank you very much. All right, let's begin. If you're able to turn on your mic at this moment, you can turn on your mic and let us begin. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Yes. Cherish okay. the spirit. Cherish the vision. the faith. Serve in humility. Aja. 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 All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Just give me one moment and I'll have a camera ready to take a photo. All right. On three, one, two, three. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you next week. Thank you. Bye.